Ladies and gentlemen, my name is NBZ. Three letters, one after the other, not before the other. And now I literally have nothing to say. I was trying to be emphatic, and it turned out that I had no substance behind the intended emphasis. But this is Pokemon, that's for sure. And shout it out loud so you can hear from the rooftops. Like the Lost Prophet, shout it from the rooftops. Everybody, scream your heart out. So, my friend is Conkelder. Um, he's been around the block, as you could tell. He's, in fact, he's been around a couple blocks, you know what I'm saying? Um, and those blocks are pretty helpful because they're able to uh, knock off the, the rocky helmet. Um, I take a lot of damage in the process of doing that, but it's better for the long run because it means that I'm only taking iron barbs as opposed to, uh, you know, bonus damage and um, I mean I guess it was more with the intention of getting rid of things for the long run but it turns out that I end up destroying the Ferrothorn in the early game anyway because he doesn't want to switch so you know it's better that way in my book anyway so no matter what uh, Ferrothorn is down and Conkel is still a decent amount of HP after a couple of drain punches knockoffs um, and we're, we're in play we are in play of course so in comes uh, the Sizzle I'm thinking maybe he's going to mega and try some shenanigans or, or something like that. But if not, then uh, I'm going to end up going to my Azumarill, resist the uh, the bug hit on the U-turn, and uh, maybe be in a good position to take something down. Unfortunately, uh, he gets the advantage with the uh, switch and goes into Aegislash, which I can't really deal with. So I'm going to go back to Conkeller again, um, mainly for the express purpose of taking a Shadow Ball. That's the one thing that my Azumarill can't handle. So my Salt Vest user will have to uh, do the job instead, and he does it pretty swell as well as the fact that I'm able to outspeed it on the next turn, go with a knockoff and uh, eliminate Aegislash. Easy. What is this? Easy pickings? He's letting me kill everything. Not only that, but I actually uh, get rid of the weakness policy before it was able to do anything because he, well, he, he died. So, by the way, that's a bad thing. If you die and your weakness policy gets taken away, then you can't... I mean, clearly. Anyway, um, Ribena. It's a drink. Um, it's definitely a, f a drink you should drink quickly and with the express purpose of hiccuping a lot after doing so. Um, and that's the, the purpose of Deoxys, of course, if you didn't know. Um, I'll bring it in for the Ice Beam on uh, the Lander. So I end up going for the Psycho Boost instead, predicting a switch, but I make the incorrect switch. and uh, Or he makes the switch, which makes my prediction useless, going into T-Touch to take the Psycho Boost, and I'm kind of stuck here like, well... And that kind of sucks. However, I do have superpower, um, but my opponent uh, does decide to scout for it, unfortunately. It means I don't get a quick kill on the Tita. Um, Sizzle comes in instead and tanks that hit pretty well. Pretty damn nicely. It is looking like a very bulky Sizzle, uh, just because of the lefty is the amount of damage I did with the superpower and, and all that good stuff. So I want to switch uh, into something more appropriate. Hopefully, it doesn't have the pursuit and it's going to go for something else that's. Uh, because uh, it would be bad otherwise. Um, turns out he's going to bullet punch, which uh, not a good switch for Azumarill, honestly. Like, I'm too worn away at this point. I shouldn't really brought myself in to uh, the Wrath of a Scizor. But, you know, it happens. Not much I can do about it, and uh, bullet punch is going to take me out. So, now I need to switch uh, on my brain, maybe, and, and try and get rid of this threat, because it is annoying, and uh, I'm going to have to deal with it aptly. So, going to Latios, trying to scare him out with Hidden Power Fire, even though I don't actually carry it on this Latios. I'm trying to force a switch here, um, so that I can get somewhat of an advantage, and um, hopefully... Uh, they take the bait. So the Sizzle does end up switching um, as I bring in Gliscor and I get a nice switch in because he brings in the T-Tar. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go for the knockoff, get rid of lefties, put myself in a nice position, maybe get some Earthquake Toxic off and we'll be good to go. But I don't. And here's the reason why, ladies and gentlemen, because he's Mega Tyranitar, a fact that I overlooked. So let's play a game. The game is called How to Lose to Mega Tyranitar. I'm going to give you a quick, very swift guide on how to best lose to such a Pokemon. Step 1. BNBZ. Uh, this is a very critical part. Um, if you are not, in fact, NBZ, then unfortunately, uh, you will not have the stupidity to knock off a Pokemon with a Mega Stone and then proceed to Toxic it. This is very important. If you're not NBZ, I'm afraid that you cannot uh, lose to Mega Tyranitar. 
Step two, be afraid of the color green. Now, if you do not have this inherent fear of the color green, I'm afraid it will lead to a situation where you will simply not be intimidated by a Pokemon such as Mega Tyranitar, leading to you not pissing your pants, not making bad decisions, and thus not losing to it. And finally, step three. Accidentally knock your bag of Doritos onto your DS and blame the fact that one of them fell on the touchscreen as a reason for a clear and obvious misplay. Feel that's an apt description. If you follow this simple and easy to use guide, then you too, my friends, can lose to Mega Tyranitar. On with the game. So, as I alluded to earlier, Mega Tyranitar happens, Gliscor, uh, by my command, goes for knockoff, and as a consequence, does literally nothing, allowing the Mega Tyranitar to get up a free Dragon Dance. Um, this puts me in a terrible situation, because now I basically have to choose as to whether I'm going to go for the long-term solution or the short-term one. Now, me being naive and seeing this Mega Tyranitar as a threat for the long-term, decides instead of getting off some solid earthquake damage to instead toxic, not only that, but to miss. This, my friends, is another critical part in losing to Mega Tyranitar. Hacks is definitely something that must be applied. Um, I hit the second one, but uh, in such a situation, I could have gotten off two Earthquakes and then potentially brought in my Latios to go for a Surf and finish the thing off. But, as you can see, not quite the case. So, him now being at plus two, I'm kind of like, okay, well, you know what's fast? Rybina. That thing is quick as anything in the world. And I can definitely, most certainly, with my intense knowledge of the metagame, man, lose this. Yeah, I'm, sl I'm slower. Um, I honestly thought I would be faster than plus two Tyranitar, which has been megged. But no, 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 I'm not. I'm not, and, and I die, so. Let's go now into my other thing, which I should have gone into first, which is a Scarf Latios, which is actually faster. That that thing is faster than Deoxys, but at this point, because of no prior damage with the Earthquake, and me having sacrificed my Deoxys for no particularly good reason, other than my own pure ignorance and stupidity, um, lose Latios as well, because I can't take it out. However, Gliscor does get his respite with the Toxic, which does finally finish off Tyranitar, but puts me in a position where the only thing I have remaining is my Mama Swine. He, however, has Landorus and Scizor and Excadrill. It will be a task, ladies and gentlemen, to come back from such a ravishing as this. Um, I do take out Landorus. He feels like he didn't want to make the risky switch there in case I predicted Scizor and Earthquake. Um, but now he makes a safe one into Scizor, who can easily go for the Bullet Punch um, and not not to take Mamoswine out because uh, he's a Mamoswine's a dude. He's a hell of a dude. So if I can kill the Scizor with a combination of Earthquake and Ice Shard, then maybe by outspeeding the Excadrill, as long as it doesn't have an Air Balloon, I'll finish that as well. However, ladies and gentlemen, the inevitable has come to pass already. Earthquake did not do enough to the point at which an Ice Shard would finish Scizor off, and unfortunately, I am not able to take the game. But I hope you learned something here today. I hope you learned a valuable lesson about the dangers of Pokemon such as Mega Tyranitar. And I hope you take it forward with you in your daily life. Uh, that's going to be this video. And uh, I need to sleep, so I'll probably do that. So it's always a wise thing. Thank you. Leave a like if you enjoyed. But only if you enjoyed. Otherwise, you can write me a hateful comment about how I suck and I'm terrible. But uh, yeah, that's it. See you guys next time. Goodbye.